Joining us to share some insight on these often turbulent celebrity relationships is psychotherapist Dr. Mike Dow. Welcome back, sir. Welcome back, Roger. And there is a medical angle to this because we know that a successful relationship, whatever it may be in your life, can be really good for your health. Is there anything we can learn when you read these tabloids and all these salacious stories with relationships? Yes, well, as you all know, it's usually what not to do. <laughs> but, uh, you know, the interesting thing is that in a study of 4,000 people uh, who were divorced, they found the average time that it took a person to feel like they were ready to move on was about 18 months. So when we look at the relationship, uh, for example, Oscar winner Jennifer Lawrence. So you're basically saying that from the moment someone breaks up or leaves somebody, yes. it, it takes about 18 months Correct. for them to get to over it. So, you know, next. Huh. Chris Martin, Jennifer Lawrence, mm -hmm. the lesson here, too soon, right? So they broke up uh, in about February 2014. So she's probably not going to be ready. He's not going to be ready uh, until about, you know, summer 2015. And so, and so what you're saying professionally, that if you break up, you need some time to start thinking clearly. Again, yes. Because you're not necessarily going to make the right moves. Yeah, and, and you also have to take care of yourself in other ways. So you start investing in your friendships, you start investing in your children, your, your even a, a pet, and, and you really, your health, and you get yourself to be a whole person again so that you are ready to, to move on. And who knows, you know, maybe Jennifer Lawrence and Chris Martin in 2015, there's somewhere no maybe good they'll get back together. There's no stories yeah, with someone with their pet. <laughs> At least but but, do, but do you think that do you think that the scrutiny that celebrities face with every aspect of their personal lives being shared with you know the entire country or the world do you think that helps or hurts? Well, I, I think they're under some very special pressure for sure, and I think that they actually uh, th they actually should pay very special attention to what they're doing in their relationships, and hopefully we can learn from them, right? But I guess sometimes maybe relationships are overlapping a little bit. Maybe somebody might be dating while they're still married, a, a new person. How, you, you... And, and, well, and Dr. Rachel, I think that's uh, an example of what not to do, yeah, right? You know, so yeah. it's also why you don't want to cheat on somebody because they're not going to be ready for a, a very long time. So there was this other really fascinating study, the most popular dating app, Zeusk, and they found that divorced does not equal damage. Now, this is actually one of my favorites mm. because one of the, uh, especially around the holidays, I always get a lot of people who come to me uh, they're recently divorced, they're single, and they want to know, you know, how do I get back in the game? And they actually mm. feel like they're damaged. Mm -hmm. Well, this data from Zeus says the opposite is true. They took a half million of their members and they found that while divorced men and women send out less messages, women actually received, who were divorced, 32% more messages than women who'd never been married. Ooh. Divorced men receive 15% more messages than men who'd never been married, even what do you though think they're. That is? Is I believe I believe it's because people see these uh, these these divorced people and they know what they're doing. Mm. They really do know what they're doing. So they think the, that since you've been divorced, you at least have a clue as to what a relationship. Well, you is, get it. You've or... corrected certain things and you're more aware of things. But I mean, I don't know the exact stats. You probably know better than I do. How many marriages fail? I would think the marriages in Hollywood have a much Higher and they, and they do number for sure and they do mm. so yeah. that that's There's just something about going out and getting the paper in the morning for a celebrity and it's like <laughs> well how about how, how can that not I mean how about how about like Liz Taylor Richard Burton they get married six times and. Yeah. I mean, there's others like that that she were married. She was practicing. She needed right. a lot of but, practice. You know, have, you seen, have, you seen, have you seen Blake Lively lately? So, yes. you know, speaking of divorce, not damage. Ryan Reynolds, ladies, does anyone oh. think that Ryan Reynolds is damaged? You know, oh. you, you know so after he married uh. Uh, Scarlett Johansson and divorced, when I see that picture of Blake Lively pregnant and you see this very happy family, he is sort of the symbol of when you're divorced, you are not damaged good. So for any person who's out there and you mm -hmm. want to get back into it, it, you know, take this for what it is and say people actually want to be in a relationship with you because you know something. That so boy, I think that's a great lesson. That boy's had a good run. Hey, I'm Dr. Travis Stork. Press here to subscribe to the Doctor's YouTube channel and press here to help reduce tension.